us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. Let us look at question 3. Solve the equation, open bracket 3x minus 5, close bracket, open bracket x plus 2, close bracket equals to 0. And this is to max. This is the easiest question that you can ever get in an exam. This is a giveaway question. And this is what you call the free to max. So, we don't need to spend a lot of time in this case. What this tells you is, it's either this one itself is equal to 0, or this one is equal to 0. So, what we have, we have 3x minus 5 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals 0. Because if n of these two is equal to 0, it will still be 0. Because if this is equal to 0, 0 times anything is 0. Or if the other one is 0, this one times that one is 0. Then this one times this one is 0. So at that point, then you just simplify. You are going to have 3x equals, the moment this negative 5 crosses, the equal sign becomes a positive. So take note of this. So after you do the factorization, this is where you need to be careful. So the good part is, in this case, I've already done for you factorization. You are just playing with movement of numbers. So are you able to understand when the number crosses the equal sign, whether it's becoming positive or negative? How does the sign change? That's what they're assessing you. This question is easier. They would have given you the entire equation, then solve it. Then you do factorization, then you reach at that point. But this one is a giveaway. So, in this case, the moment 5 crosses the equal sign becomes a positive from negative 5. So, this is positive 5. Then, at this point, you have 3. 3 this side you are dividing so that you remain with x. The opposite remain with x. So, that and that. So, x is equal to 5 into 3 is 1. Remainder 2. So, it's 2 over 3. This is the first value of x. Then the second value of x will come now, similar in this case. In this case, it was a negative 5. It crossed the sign. The equal sign became a positive. Now, in this case, we have a positive 2, which is already a positive. So the moment this one crosses, the equal sign becomes a negative. So we're going to have x is equal to negative 2. Because the coefficient of x is a 1, there is nothing else to do there. So meaning x is just equal to negative 2. So I have x is equal to negative 2 as my first answer, or x is equal to 1, 2 over 3. Once you do that, you get the 2 marks, just as easy as that. If you want now, you can prove by just substituting any of these answers to ensure that the answers are correct. Negative 2, when x is equal to negative 2, plus 2 is a 0. 0 times anything is a 0. Similarly, when I put 5 over 3, which is the same as 1 over 2 over 3, it will be 3 times 5 over 3. You are going to get a 5. 5 minus 5 is a 0. So you notice that this answer is correct. So once you do that, you are good to go. You get these free marks. Just as easy as that.